Oh, welcome back. <laughs> oh. No. Welcome back to Doiki Doiki. What? Doiki. Yeah, yeah, I think you're the narrator. This All right, Doiki Doiki. I will be the narrator for this episode. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes. A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. Pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. Are you? I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> as long I as love reading. Oh my God. <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Your mouth like right next to my ear. Yeah, I Is love that reading. So? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, everyone. Why are you always reading? <laughs> Stop that. Why are you always so close to each other? Why are you always reading? After some time passes, my Monika calls out, club. calls out to the classroom. Why don't we uh, share our poems now? Oh fuck. Fucking finally. Before I know it, <laughs> everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monika, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Let's talk to Yuri! <sighs> <laughs> uh, hi, Yuri. Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. It never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? <laughs> oh, you were gently smiles to yourself. <laughs> this feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. <laughs> this feeling. <laughs> well, I never thought it would feel like this. Oh, dear. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something that you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well. Oh, oh you already smiled sadly. I'm so... <laughs> During lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. As no one dies, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! I always have some books with me. <coughs> you could say I really enjoy reading. You could say Noah died. <laughs> <laughs> well, that well, oh well, that's one way to put it, anyways. But books are so full of amazing, <coughs> inspiring people. Dead ones, <laughs> like Noah. People. <laughs> This is important, you guys. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, just like the fact that our best friend is dying. <laughs> People you want to fall in love with. Drink your tea, Noah. Drink. Okay. Stop <laughs> joking. Or people you just know would make a really great, a really good friend. Oh dear. Till they die. <laughs> people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. And death. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. Less and less each day <laughs> <laughs> as they continue to die. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. Oh, you know, <laughs> after the dead. <laughs> after the dead, they're not exactly good at laughing. 
They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They really don't do much of anything, right? <laughs> don't make fun of my body type, even though I have huge tits and a perfect body. And, yep. and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. Even though that's my only personality. People <laughs> say that about you. I'm not a know-it-all. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I'm a fucking airhead. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. Well, you should. Well, I don't know how to bring my friend back to me. You sure seem to be talking quite a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> talking my ear off over here. I don't even know. Hey, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Shut up, you're dead. Oh. <laughs> I have all these feelings. Like every human ever. And all I can do with them is read and write. <coughs> but it wasn't until now <coughs> that I started sharing it with you. Probably because my best friend died. And I really understood what was missing all the time. It was him. Alright, you have to read your line now, let's go. No, he's dead. Who's the new bro? <laughs> but I haven't really done anything. No. You haven't done shit. That's <laughs> oh. oh. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person. <laughs> I speak too slowly. I second guess. <laughs> 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 okay, no, I seriously get that shit. <laughs> I read too deeply into things. My best friend died. And every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I talk for fucking ever. <laughs> Just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. Oh. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. I haven't fucked anyone yet, though. Wouldn't you? Yeah, say over here. Uh, 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 please, no. If you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Oh, Yoi puts her head in her hands. But this time, she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your bow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Wait, what sure. is that? Wait, is that? Is that what we've been doing this for the past like twenty minutes? Yeah, yeah this is the palm thing. <laughs> she talked. Yeah. So uh, I forgot. All right. <clears throat> oh, are you under the light of my God? But to the tendrils of my hair <laughs> illuminate beneath the amber glow, <laughs> bathing in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows. Closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the ambient light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing the poem, I s start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. She's been looking away this whole time. Uh, <laughs> Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. 
Despite Yuri's <laughs> poem usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I... I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Uh. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri knows. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time with each other. Ooh. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint <coughs> smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to a warm touch. You can, uh, the poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Frame it. Yuri faintly, faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally towards, turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put a poem away. Well, that's just lovely, oh isn't God, it? that took forever. That's All just right. lovely, isn't it? Next is Monica, I Monica. Guess. That's the order we always do. Hi. <coughs> Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? <clears throat> well... Being in the club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It'll also make me happy to see. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, let's talk about today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style's gotten so refined. <coughs> Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah. I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple of days than she's talked in a whole year. She talks so fucking much. She talks so goddamn much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you did it, but it's pretty impressive. She's like a... She's like a leaking faucet. Can't turn the fucking thing off. Can't, just can't turn it off. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. She's gonna flood the bathroom. <laughs> I'm still getting oh, the hang of it myself. Morph. Oh God, make her stop. <laughs> oh God, please. I start talking to her and three episodes later, <laughs> still talk. Still talk. <laughs> Certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like it. Yeah, that's... Ha 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 It's awfully suspicious, you know? Spending time with her in the club room every day. Making tea together. Reading that edgy novel with her. Feeding her chocolate. Feeding her chocolate. Well... Literally just... having sex in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! I feel all bad that she has a hard time socializing. Seems that you do too. A hard time. You know uh, what I'm saying? Oh, God. <laughs> it makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? All right. All right. Just forget what I saw last night. <laughs> Be careful, all right? Use protection. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Use yourself up. God damn it. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> Well, I'm gonna back it up. <laughs> so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. <laughs> her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bench. You say that like a <laughs> 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 
flying dog. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you Jesus. say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. It's fucking warm. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my phone with you now, all right? Yeah, you, I, you sure will next time. Next time on Wise Man Gaming! Actually, what? We, we can't do it next time this time. We can't do it next time this time? Because oh, yeah. My, because our parents yeah. want me to leave. They don't, they don't want me anymore. Leave right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're about to read Monica's poem. But they don't, they don't love me anymore. They want me out. It's not even that late, y'all. Anybody got? Oh, yeah. So when are we gonna do this again? I don't know. <laughs> You're talking. I don't know what we're doing. Where's Connor? Doesn't Come matter. On. Doesn't matter. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. Well, see you next time. Yeah, next next time we record this, we're definitely gonna get to the good part. I oh yeah. So. Yeah, I no. We we're gonna yeah. get there, but no, we're close. Dude, yeah. this has been like, like I got here like what, like at five? It is now yeah. ten. So we've been here for about five hours. Yeah, no, we've just talking. We've literally played this for like four and a half hours, I think. Mm-hmm. Because we ate for like half an hour. Oh, that's true. It's probably because we're reading it out loud. Yeah. yeah. If you're playing it by yourself, you probably just you probably read you probably skip like you'd yeah. probably be way like way this. further. I heard somebody say that like like oh yeah, you should definitely play it. It only takes like four hours to play the whole game. <laughs> that, like, well, no. we've been here for five hours, and I don't think we're like we're like almost half. We yeah. We've gone a little bit past the halfway mark, maybe. No, not I don't think so. I think we're. Just before halfway. Yeah, we're close. Interesting. Like the fe like the festival, I think is like halfway. Hmm. So we're close. Well, next time in the next session of Wise Man Gaming. You know, I I played a, a dating simulation. I've only played one, but I played one called um. S Asagao Academy, and you date. You can date the like the YouTubers from Normal Boots. We should play that after this. So I did uh, Peanut Bar Gamer. <laughs> oh, nice. He's my favorite. I want to date Pro Jared. Oh, Pro Jared is he's a model in that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who else is in there? Um, Jontron. Of course. Yeah. Um. So it's. Jontron, uh, PVG, Pro, Pro Jared, and then like five other guys. <laughs> Should save. I did save. Okay, good. Just there. Nice. What's happening? I am uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah? I can sniff your hand too if it makes you more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you're offering. Okay. My dog likes to put his nose in my ear and sniff as loudly as possible. <laughs> so I do it to him. Cool story. That's right. He's like, and it's so annoying. <laughs>